You should find tonight a very practical night. Something that you can test. Take it home tonight and prove it. You'll take it from scripture. But something first, I think, with which you're all familiar. If you took a piece of steel that's magnetized, it does not differ in substance from the demagnetized piece of steel, only in its arrangement of its molecules. The rich man, the poor man, the beggar man are not different minds, but simply different arrangements of the same mind. There is only God in this world. So when you say, I am, and I say, I am, it's the same God, but we have arranged the structure of our mind differently. We have different concepts of self, and that's all. But not one is better because he is richer than the one who is poor. These are only different arrangements of the structure of the mind. Now scripture tells us, and I'm quoting now the book of James, the epistle of James. James is really a letter of Jacob. The word James and Jacob are identical in Hebrew, Greek, and in the Arabic tongue. The same word. So when they begin, James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, you can see at once it's simply a Christian revision of this Jewish letter. It's the letter of Jacob. And if you read it carefully, only twice, do they insert, say, Jesus Christ our Lord. All the others, there are eleven other times, it is simply God. The Lord is God, not Christ. So here it is really the servant of the Lord speaking. And he's giving us some fantastic instruction and very practical instruction. Now listen to it carefully. I'm now going to quote from the very first chapter of the book of James. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. For he who is a hearer and not a doer is like a man who observes his natural face in a mirror then goes his way and at once forgets what he is like. But he who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, he will be blessed in his doing. Now how do I look into the law, the perfect law, which sets me free, the law of liberty? I look into my mind. If I dare to assume that I am free, I rearrange the structure of my mind. The same mind that heard the sentence that I accepted when I heard it. Now I do not accept it. I look into the perfect law, the law of liberty. And if, as I'm told in scripture, I persevere, then I will actually receive that which I am doing. I must not forget what I have done. Let me know exactly where would I sleep. Well, dare to assume that I am sleeping there now. If I sleep in the assumption that I am free, as Blake tells us, man's perceptions are not bounded by organs of perception. He perceives more than sense 
so ever acute can discover. And so reason or the ratio of all that we already know is not the same that it shall be when we know more. If I take this tonight and test it and it proves itself in the testing but then I have added to my knowledge and so I know more than before I tested it and so when I find myself up against something that seems beyond solution I have found something that can solve it all I have to do is to rearrange the structure of my mind so I dare to assume that I am the man that I would be and sleep as though I am that's the rearrangement of that structure of the mind I am the same being I am Neville I know exactly those that I knew before but now I know them differently I know them now as a freed man but I must not be a hearer of what I heard in scripture I must be a doer I must do it so be not a doer only be a doer in the full sense of the word so that I actually I'll do it and persist the word is persevere in scripture the first chapter the 22nd through the 25th verses of the epistle of James so I will simply do it and though tomorrow I am confronted with the obvious facts of life that I did it, I am doing it, and I will continue to do it until that which I have done is perfectly externalized within my world. I am telling you this from experience. I know it. But I didn't ask the permission of anyone. I only consult consulted myself. I looked around. I knew what the world knew it was something that had to be done but I must be honest with myself I didn't want any part of it but no part of it others would tell me is that the act of a coward I didn't care what they said is that being a good citizen I didn't care what they said took me down to Camp Oak, Louisiana for my base training and while I was there, I didn't want any part of it. And I dared to assume that I am out of it. <laughs>